Okay, this is just to show off a uh, recent acquisition of mine. This is a Hazeltine 1420 dumb terminal from the late 1970s, um, about 1979 I think. Um, I grabbed this one because I had a Hazeltine 1500, uh, which is there. Um, and as you can see, it's sort of been uh, demoted to a, uh, a parts machine now because there was just so many things wrong with it that repairing it was, it was too much time and money. And plus, it's actually um, an American one, so it runs on 120 volts, and here in the UK, it's a uh, 240. But I managed to find this one, um, which is a 240 volt model. Um, now the 1420 doesn't have as many features as the 1500. Um, I don't think you can... Uh, I don't think it's addressable, so you can't clear the screen. Well, you can, but screen clear commands won't work and uh, some other things won't. But I'm hoping that I can swap some chips out from the 1500 and see if I can get this one to as close to the features of this one as possible because it'd be nice to have uh, graphical menus and stuff that can work on here. Um, anyway, um, the only thing I've done is taken away the anti-glare uh, filter, which is this thing. I had to pull the tube out and it's just there to, well, reduce glare, but over the years the plastic discolors and uh, the adhesive holding it on just kind of melts into nothingness. So I've taken that out. Um, so I'm going to, I've got it hooked up by serial cable, um, 25 pin on that end and then a one of these crappy little USB to serial adapters. Um, can run it up to 90, oh what's the max speed on this I've forgotten already, yeah 9600 board which is um, pretty good for something of this age. Uh, now again, I'm sorry about the glare, um, without that plastic there it does look a bit worse, but I don't have any control over the lighting in this room. It's either this or it's nothing. Anyway, let's uh, turn it on, let's switch on the back here. Okay, there we go. So it's waiting for our input. <clears throat> so I will run a Getty on here. And there we go. So let's type in my login details. And here we go. I think that looks pretty cool. Um, so let's, uh, hmm, let's dial into my bulletin board. Oops. Um, you can go to this, by the way, it's very bare bones at the moment, there's nothing that really works properly on it, but... Anyway, we should get some ASCII out in a second. Yay! That's what I'm talking about. Um, the text is actually really sharp on this, given the uh, age of the tube. I can only assume it wasn't used very much. Uh, And here we go. <laughs> so um, this is the sort of thing that uh, people would have used this for. Um, 
either dialing into a uh, mainframe computer somewhere or perhaps hooking up to something like an Altair 8800 or an IMSI 8080. Um, although something like this would have cost about as much as the computer itself. Um, of course there is no computer in this, it is entirely a dumb terminal. It's a very, very dumb terminal. Um, okay, I'm going to log out of that. Uh, no. Oh, whoops, I meant yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. Let's try and get some... Uh, Uh. Hello, okay, figure it's working, so I wonder if we can do fortune and then we'll pipe that into the input of figlet. Sometimes I wonder if my right mind is... Uh, that went too quickly. I guess you guys can pause that. I didn't read too... I didn't read quick enough. Chicken Little only has to be right once. Cool. Oh man, why is it giving me all the long ones? Your lover will never wish to leave you. Oh, how sweet. You will be audited by the Internal Revenue Service. Uh, well, that's interesting because we don't have the IRS here. Anyway, um, let's do one more thing. Let's just do LS. Man, I just love seeing this thing uh, working. <laughs> uh, especially at some of the slower board rates where you can see it writing the text. I uh, think that just looks pretty cool. But yeah, this is in very, very nice condition. Uh, I've not seen a cleaner one, actually. Most of these get kind of put through the works, you know, and they end up, well, looking like that. <laughs> but this is a very, very nice example. I can probably get rid of some of the uh, sticker residue at some point. Um, but yeah, I just love this thing. <laughs> uh, I think this is going to be a permanent um, instalment in this room. But yeah, there you go. The Hazeltine 1420 Terminal. Straight out of 1979.